You know we can't be together. But Martha, I need you. I, I love you. I'd rather die than be without you. Oh, Craig, I love you. Cut. Are you blind? Are you blind? Oh, wait, are you talking to me? Oh, so you're deaf now? Sean, get the hell over here. You think we're just doing this for fun? That this is just some no, little game? No, I don't. Don't interrupt me. <sighs> Sean, you're worthless. All right, everyone, let's take five. My name is Jeffrey Clutterbuck V, and I'm an SF-based cinema artist. The key to good directing is really pushing your actors to their limits. Four, two, come on! After my last film, Space Cats in the City, I wanted to work on something a little more heartfelt. So I'm working on a very personal piece called A Jock and a Girl, Next Door Love. Yes, things are going great. Except for that slippery snake, Sean. The day I met him, I just knew he was going to be the worst sound guy that I've ever hired in my life. He has terrible work ethic, and he's using his gorgeous looks and sensual charm to seduce my leading actress. It's despicable. No. No, no, no. Hey. It's, this is not what I hey, want. It's, it's okay. Vision. It's okay. It's just, it's okay. I just, hey, <sighs> hey, repeat after me. I'm the greatest. I'm the greatest. Say it again. I'm the greatest. I'm the greatest. One, two, three. I'm, I'm the, the greatest. greatest. The first film of Jeff's I saw was Frog Lord, Mighty Staff of Zlorp, and it was just such a strong and passionate film, and ever since I've just loved Jeff. I, I mean, I've loved Jeff's work. It, it's not like I love Jeff or anything. Bob, in every scene, you need to think about what your character wants. And in this scene, you just want to grab her by the face and just And then And then And then you want to eat In the back of the janitor's closet. Jeff and I go way back. I met him outside of Danny's back in 04. He wanted to cast me in his movie. He didn't have a budget, so he drew himself in front of a car, and that's how he funded Lizard Boys, which was a straight DVD release. He's a terrible person. I signed this movie contract under false pretenses. Yeah, leave that in. Melissa! I'm not seeing what I want. Where's the fire, huh? Where is it? Show me where the fire is! I'm trying! Where's that fire, huh? Is it, is it over here? Is it over there? Huh? Where? I can't see it. Oh, oh, so you're gonna walk off on set? How professional, huh? Oh, and you too, Sean? The freaking good looks and your face, huh? Think that's okay? I need to meditate. I just can't take it anymore. He's so mean. I wish we could just leave. I know. Let's do it then. What? Let's leave. We don't get paid enough to work for this narcissistic jerk anyways. I, I don't know, I just, I think that... You are amazing. You're, you're an actor. You're legendary. But someday, we'll be able to afford better actors. Where's Jeff? Oh, doing his daily 10 minute meditation. Fade from your awareness. If you find your mind wandering to other thoughts, don't let it concern you. Just acknowledge. Melissa and Sean ran away. What? Yeah, um, I couldn't find them anywhere, but I found her dress next to the back door. So I guess the movie's off, huh? No, we've spent way too much money on this film. We can't stop now. The show must go on. Well, who's gonna be my girlfriend? What? But 
Marsha, I need you. I love you. I'd rather die than be with you. You know what? Overall, I'm pretty satisfied with the final product. The thing about me is, I'm a pusher. I push the envelope. People just don't see eye to eye. I'm a rule breaker. I'm a film breaker. <laughs>